Now y'all know, Whitney Williams, Wendell Williams, Wilbert Williams, need his motherfucking skull cracked for this shit he pulled on yesterday, okay? Wilbert Williams, Wilbert Wendell Williams, aka Wendy, okay, because we know you're tucking, okay? I, 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 don't, I don't usually talk shit about people like this, but you tried that shit on yesterday, honey. When I tell you family, I was down my mom's house having a gay old time visiting my mother and all this type of stuff. Now, mind you, let me tell you a little bit about this movie. Now, first of all, I'm not a huge Aaliyah stan. I'm not a stan of Aaliyah like that. I love Aaliyah's music, the, the few songs that I have heard. I haven't heard a lot of her songs, but you know, the things that I have heard, One in a Million, um... Uh, 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 you know, uh, a couple of others. I can't even fucking think right now because Comcast to piss me off yet again. Yes, Comcast and piss me off. I ain't finna get into it right now. I'll tell y'all about it, uh, 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 in another video. Y'all know I'm still in the process of moving. I'm moving in, moving in. I move in exactly four days, but I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all about that shit as soon as a bitch gets settled, okay? But Wendell Williams tried that shit on yesterday. Like I said, I was down at my mom's house. Um, I was actually on Facebook and I saw all these fucking memes and shit and people was talking about, um, Wendy is wrong for this shit, and I'm like, what the fuck are they talking about? So, come to find out, they were actually watching the Aaliyah movie. Now, see, I didn't get to uh, get a chance to um, catch it on yesterday. I didn't get a chance to watch it until today. Now, I did. I started not to watch it because everybody was talking so, you know, talking so bad about it. But I, you know, when somebody's talking that bad about something, I had to see it for myself. I could not just you know, uh, uh, go without seeing this shit because they, when I tell you, they went, they drug her ass for filth, okay, on the Twitter, okay? I went in her motherfucking mentions, bitch, let me tell you a little bit of something about this shit. I don't know if you guys frequent Twitter, okay, but if you want to see what people are saying about a person, all you gotta do is put at and their Twitter name, okay? And you can see all of their motherfucking mentions. Now, I heard that Wendy Williams doesn't actually run her uh, social media account. So she probably, you know, I'm pretty sure she saw the shit though. Even though she's not the one that actually runs her Twitter account. Um, but I'm pretty sure she gonna motherfucking see the shit. Because her, 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 uh, her team, they will let her know that she is being drugged for fucking filth. She is being read for fucking filth on the Twitter, on the Facebook, on the, uh, uh, on the goddamn, uh, uh, Instagram, or well, on the YouTube. She is being read for fucking filth. Number one, let me tell you a little bit of backstory about this whole episode and all this type of, well, not an episode, this movie. First and foremost, Aaliyah's family did not give Wendy Williams permission to use any of Aaliyah's songs. Now, if you're going to do a documentary about somebody, if you're going to tell someone's the story of someone's life, especially if they're a singer, songwriter, rapper, or whatever, you need to have rights to that person's uh, uh, music, songs, or whatever, because that, I mean, that that's what makes the movie. Okay, first and foremost, her family did not give Wendy um, the blessing to use Aaliyah's music, so of course, she's not using any of Aaliyah's music in this stuff. Now, yes, um, the girl, I cannot think of her name. The girl that played Aaliyah, bless her heart. You know, she can sing very well if that is her voice. She can sing very, very well. The one song that she did sing that was Aaliyah's song, the only reason that she was able to sing that song was because it was actually written and produced and it's owned by the Isley Brothers, if I'm not mistaken. Now, very, very beautiful girl, but she did not in no way, shape, or form remind me of Aaliyah. Yes, she had the hair like Aaliyah, but that was pretty much it. Now, the person that they had playing R. Kelly, who the fuck was that? Did y'all see that shit that they put on top of his damn skull? That damn, you know, at first he had on, you know, like the little headband and everything, but you know, they had the, you know how they put that fake shit on your hair to make it look like your hair is bald or whatever. I mean, the shit has so many lumps and dumps and all this type of shit. And why the fuck didn't they just shave this man? Your shit can grow back, honey. It can grow the fuck. I can understand if they was going to do it and they was going to do it properly. But they they put the shit on the man's head. They didn't even do the damn shit right. Who the fuck did you hire as y'all makeup artists? Okay? The goddamn person who puts on the, you know, the props and the prosthetics and all this type of shit. This man got all these damn lumps and dumps in his goddamn head. Now, number one, R. Kelly ain't never been up to me. R. Kelly ain't never been this super duper fine man. But R. Kelly was a good looking dude. 
Who the fuck was this? And then the dude wasn't even the, the same color as R. Kelly. And then not just that. Y'all tried that shit with Missy Elliott. Now we all know, in, in, back in the back back day, Missy Elliott was a thick chick. She was kind of like me. She was part of the thick crew. Okay. Who the fuck was this woman that you had playing Missy Elliott? Honey, and then you tried it with them goddamn track shoot suits. Missy used to always be clean. Now, mind you, yes, Missy used to wear track suits, okay? But, bitch, that's all that woman had on this goddamn episode was track suits and shit. What, when did we, what exactly did you want to accomplish with this motherfucking shit? Okay, all that I got from it was that, yes, R. Kelly was a pedo, okay? R. Kelly was a motherfucking pedo, and that Dame Dash was rude as fuck to everybody, but he loved the fuck out of him some Aaliyah. Okay, I, I didn't really get shit else from your damn episode. And at the end, like I said, bitch, when I tell y'all family, it took everything and Thick Chick Vlogs to watch an hour of this motherfucking shit. But from my understanding, the bitch didn't even show what the fuck. I understand that we all know, you know, how um, Aaliyah's demise happened. We all know how Aaliyah died. She died in a, uh, in a plane crash. My thing is this, though. Did, did, did she even show that shit at the end of the goddamn movie? Okay, did she even show that motherfucking shit? Wendy fucking Wendell Williams. I'm not finna go line by fucking line because like I said, honey, when I tell you I couldn't watch but probably about uh 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 60 minutes of the shit. It was a two hour movie, I'm not if I'm not mistaken. I couldn't get through the whole goddamn thing. I kept falling asleep. I kept being like, what the fuck is what 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 are you trying to accomplish here? Wendell? Wilbur? What the fuck are you trying to accomplish with this? What are you trying? To, my thing is, is, you have a very, very popular talk show, okay? You got a very, very popular talk show. So it's not like you wanted to try to get your name out there. People know you, Wendy. People know you, Wendy Williams. People know you. So what were you, especially that, that uh, Aaliyah's family told you that they didn't want this movie to be made, especially not like this. Okay, this was a total disrespect to her legacy, in my personal opinion. It was. It seemed like it was rushed. The acting was fucking horrible. I mean, you didn't you didn't do anything uh, uh, remotely, in my personal opinion, that was related to anything that Aaliyah uh, was about. Yes, you showed, you know, her meeting. Maybe I was going too hard on the motherfucking paint because my shit just cut the fuck off. But uh, Wilbur. I don't know what the fuck you were trying to accomplish. You tried it with uh, Missy Elliott. You tried it with Timbaland. You tried it with R. Kelly. You tried it with Aaliyah. You tried it with this whole fucking movie, Wilbur. Okay? And not only did you try it with Aaliyah, and you, you disrespected Aaliyah's legacy, and you disrespected Aaliyah's family, you just disrespect hell. If I was Timbaland, if I was motherfucking Missy, if I was any of them folk, okay? If I was any of them goddamn folk, I'd be trying to sue your motherfucking ass for defamation of character. Bitch, because you defamed my motherfucking character by putting them goddamn fools. I understand that people want to get their name on the map and all this type of shit, but I, I, I commend Zendaya, Zendaya, whatever her name is, the girl who was originally supposed to be cast it as Aaliyah. She stepped back and she, she said it was a lot of shady shit going on behind the scenes with the production and all this type of stuff. So she bowed out gracefully and she, you know, wished whoever the new cast member was going to be, you know, whoever was going to be casted as Aaliyah the best. You know, I'm pretty sure now that she's seeing how these motherfuckers are dragging Wendy for filth, I'm pretty sure she is um, pretty excited that she decided to back out of this production because it is, um, it was a hot, shitty ass fucking mess. Now, I don't normally watch Wendy Williams' show, but I'm going to be watching that motherfucker tomorrow just like this. Because I got to see what the fuck she got to say about this whole uh, uh, shit him. I got to see what the fuck she got to say about this. Because bitch, Wilbur, Wilbur, you tried it. You tried it, bitch. And you better assess, you you better apologize to Aaliyah's fucking family for this this, this foolishness and this fuckery that you uh, put on t calling it uh, Aaliyah, the Aaliyah movie. And Lifetime, y'all motherfucker try. I don't know if y'all do this shit just for rap. My Lifetime, you don't need no motherfucking ratings. You get enough goddamn ratings as it is. You don't need no motherfucking help from Wilbur, Wendell Williams. The fuck? So, yes. Y'all might not be watching the Wendy Williams show on tomorrow on Monday morning. But, baby, you best believe Thick Chick Blog's gonna be sitting in front of that motherfucker just like this. Waiting to see what the fuck she gotta say. Because, bitch, you tried it. 
Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this shit in the, in the comment section. What did you think about this movie? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Let me know. Shit. What did you think about them goddamn people that she casted to, to play these folks? Missy Elliott. Uh, 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 Timelin. Uh, 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 motherfucking Kelly. I'm just, I'm disgusted. Bye, Wilbur.